Because while we as Christians will often refer to him as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, when individuals, even religious individuals, will talk about this Jesus, they talk about him as a teacher. They talk about him as a good teacher. A teacher who, who shared with us principles that, that maybe are not unique, but, but still are beneficial and helpful to us. And they will ascribe to him a position in standing much like Buddha or Confucius or maybe one of the Greek philosophers. And the idea is that Jesus gives us good guidance as to how to live our lives. If we conduct ourselves in ways that Jesus says we're to conduct ourselves, it'll be a good life that we will live, but they are not willing to say that you must do these things in order to be accepted by God. You see, where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me, it is the case that people today, even those who religiously claim to be followers of Jesus, they don't ascribe to him quite that uniqueness. Uh, quite that authority that we do typically as we refer to him as our Lord when they talk about the guidance that he offers us as, as we seek to, to live our lives. They, 